C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 9 rational numbers page 176 9.5 rational numbers on a number line you know how to represent integers on a number line. Let us draw one such number line. We have a number line here. The points to the right of zero are denoted by plus sign and are positive integers. The points to the left of zero are denoted by minus sign and are negative integers. Representation of fractions on a number line is also known to you. Let us see how the rational numbers can be represented on a number line. Let us represent the number minus 1 upon 2 on the number line. As done in the case of positive integers, the positive rational numbers would be marked on the right of 0 and the negative rational numbers would be marked on the left of zero. To which side of zero will you mark minus one upon two? Being a negative rational number, it would be marked to the left of zero. You know that while marking integers on the number line, successive integers are marked at equal intervals. Also, from zero, the pair 1 and minus 1 is equidistant. So are the pairs 2 and minus 2, 3 and minus 3. Page 177 In the same way, the rational numbers 1 upon 2 and minus 1 upon 2 would be at equal distance from 0. We know how to mark the rational number 1 upon 2. It is marked at a point which is half the distance between 0 and 1. So, minus 1 upon 2 would be marked at a point half the distance between 0 and minus 1. We know how to mark 3 upon 2 on the number line. It is marked on the right of 0 and lies halfway between 1 and 2. Let us now mark minus 3 upon 2 on the number line. It lies on the left of 0 and is at the same distance as 3 upon 2 from 0. In decreasing order, we have minus 1 upon 2, minus 2 upon 2, which is equal to minus 1, minus 3 upon 2, minus 4 upon 2, which is equal to minus 2. This shows that minus 3 upon 2 lies between minus 1 and minus 2. Thus, minus 3 upon 2 lies halfway between minus 1 and minus 2. Mark minus 5 upon 2 and minus 7 upon 2 in a similar way. Similarly, minus 1 upon 3 is to the left of 0 and at the same distance from 0 as 1 upon 3 is to the right. So as done above, minus 1 upon 3 can be represented on the number line. Once we know how to represent minus 1 upon 3 on the number line, we can go on representing minus 2 upon 3, minus 4 upon 3, minus 5 upon 3, and so on. All other rational numbers with different denominators can be represented in a similar way. 9.6 Rational Numbers in Standard Form Observe the rational numbers 3 upon 5, minus 5 upon 8, 2 upon 7, minus 7 upon 11. The denominators of these rational numbers are positive integers and 1 is the only common factor between the numerators and denominators. Further, 
the negative sign occurs only in the numerator. Such rational numbers are said to be in standard form. Page 178 a rational number is said to be in the standard form if its denominator is a positive integer and the numerator and denominator have no common factor other than 1. If a rational number is not in the standard form, then it can be reduced to the standard form. Recall that for reducing fractions to their lowest forms, we divided the numerator and the denominator of the fraction by the same non-zero positive integer. We shall use the same method for reducing rational numbers to their standard form. Example 1. Reduce minus 45 upon 30 to the standard form. Solution. We have minus 45 upon 30 is equal to minus 45 divided by 3 upon 30 divided by 3, which is equal to minus 15 divided by 10, which is equal to minus 15 divided by 5 upon 10 divided by 5, which is equal to minus 3 upon 2. We had to divide twice, first time by 3 and then by 5. This could also be done as minus 45 upon 30 is equal to minus 45 divided by 15 upon 30 divided by 15, which is equal to minus 3 upon 2. In this example, note that 15 is the HCF of 45 and 30. Thus, to reduce the rational number to its standard form, we divide its numerator and denominator by their HCF, ignoring the negative sign, if any. The reason for ignoring the negative sign will be studied in higher classes. If there is negative sign in the denominator, divide by minus HCF. Example 2. Reduce to standard form. 1. 36 upon minus 24. 2. Minus 3 upon minus 15. Solution. 1. The HCF of 36 and 24 is 12. Thus, its standard form would be obtained by dividing by minus 12. 36 upon minus 24 is equal to 36 divided by minus 12 upon minus 24 divided by minus 12, which is equal to minus 3 upon 2. 2. The HCF of 3 and 15 is 3. Thus, minus 3 upon minus 15 is equal to minus 3 divided by minus 2 upon minus 15 divided by minus 3, which is equal to 1 upon 5. Try these. Find the standard form of 1 minus 18 upon 45, 2 minus 12 upon 18. Page 179. 9.7. Comparison of rational numbers. We know how to compare two integers or two fractions and tell which is smaller or which is greater among them. Let us now see how we can compare two rational numbers. Two positive rational numbers like 2 upon 3 and 5 upon 7 can be compared as studied earlier in the case of fractions. 
Mary compared two negative rational numbers, minus 1 upon 2 and minus 1 upon 5, using number line. She knew that the integer which was on the right side of the other integer was the greater integer. For example, 5 is to the right of 2 on the number line and 5 is greater than 2. The integer minus 2 is on the right of minus 5 on the number line and minus 2 is greater than minus 5. She used this method for rational numbers also. She knew how to mark rational numbers on the number line. She marked minus 1 upon 2 and minus 1 upon 5 as follows. Has she correctly marked the two points? How and why did she convert minus 1 upon 2 to minus 5 upon 10 and minus 1 upon 5 to minus 2 upon 10. She found that minus 1 upon 5 is to the right of minus 1 upon 2. Thus, minus 1 upon 5 is greater than minus 1 upon 2 or minus 1 upon 2 is less than minus 1 upon 5. Can you compare minus 3 upon 4 and minus 2 upon 3? Minus 1 upon 3 and minus 1 upon 5? We know from our study of fractions that 1 upon 5 is less than 1 upon 2. And what did Mary get for minus 1 upon 2 and minus 1 upon 5? Was it not exactly the opposite? You will find that 1 upon 2 is greater than 1 upon 5, but minus 1 upon 2 is less than minus 1 upon 5. Do you observe the same for minus 3 upon 4, minus 2 upon 3, and minus 1 upon 3? minus 1 upon 5? Mary remembered that in integers she had studied, 4 is greater than 3, but minus 4 is less than minus 3. 5 is greater than 2, but minus 5 is less than minus 2, etc. Page 180 the case of pairs of negative rational numbers is similar. To compare two negative rational numbers, we compare them ignoring their negative signs and then reverse the order. For example, to compare minus 7 upon 5 and minus 5 upon 3, we first compare 7 upon 5 and 5 upon 3. We get 7 upon 5 is less than 5 upon 3 and conclude that minus 7 upon 5 is greater than minus 5 upon 3. Take 5 more such pairs and compare them. Which is greater, minus 3 upon 8 or minus 2 upon 7? Minus 4 upon 3 or minus 3 upon 2. Comparison of a negative and a positive rational number is obvious. A negative rational number is to the left of 0, whereas a positive rational number is to the right of 0 on a number line. So, a negative rational number will always be less than a positive rational number. Thus, minus 2 upon 7 is less than 1 upon 2. To compare rational numbers minus 3 upon minus 5 and minus 2 upon minus 7, reduce them to their standard forms 
and then compare them. Example 3. Do 4 upon minus 9 and minus 16 upon 36 represent the same rational number? Solution. Yes, because 4 upon minus 9 is equal to 4 multiplied by minus 4 upon 9 multiplied by minus 4, which is equal to minus 16 upon 36, or minus 16 upon 36 is equal to minus 16 divided by minus 4 upon 36 divided by minus 4, which is equal to minus 4 upon minus 9. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7.